Let's take a look at a powerful new feature that we've added to the data preparation capabilities called cross-source joins. So with cross-source joins, I can combine data from any different data sources that QuickSight supports connectors to into a single data set. So here on this screen, I can see all the different types of connectors that QuickSight offers. So for instance, I could join two CSVs together, or I could join that CSV to a Redshift instance, and then join tables from that to a SQL Server, and then join tables from that to Salesforce. So any combination of sources that you see on this screen, you're able to combine data from those into a single data set for you then to use in your analyses and your dashboards from there. So let's take a look at how this works. So first I'm going to start with a Redshift instance. I enter my connection details. Next I'll choose a schema from which I want to start with my first set of tables. So any tables or views from that database I'll be able to use here. And I'll choose edit preview data. So the same add data button that was uh, previously there, which allows you to join tables from the same database instance, allows you now, with using these buttons on the bottom, to join data from other sources, or even just from uploading a file directly. So let's choose switch data source here. And now I can use any other sources that were pre-existing in my QuickSight account. So quick note is that I'd want to set up those data sources ahead of time, and then I can use them in this data set here. So if I wanted to bring in some data from, from Twitter, or uh, in this example, we'll use data from Athena. And I'll grab one of these tables from Athena and click here to define the join between these two. So this is going to go on my buyer name. I can choose the type of join over here on the right. And now the combination of columns from both sets of tables are going to be available in this data set. So I could go through that one more time and I could actually upload a file to this as well. So we've got two sources in this set so far, uh, but I could also choose to upload a file. So from here, I'm going to browse to a file which has some targets that I wanted to join in here. So it's going to upload that. This is a fairly simple uh, little flat file that I'm uploading, which is my different regions and some targets per region. And again, define what the link or what the join should be between these two. And now I've got three different sources combined into this single data set here. So quick note is that when you're using these cross-source joins, the resulting data set will always be pulled into Spice. So just be aware of that. Um, now Spice has a uh, capability of going up to 100 million rows of data per data set. So the result of all the joins that you have in here and all the different sources uh, post join, as long as that data set is under 100 million records, then you'll be able to utilize this new cross source joining feature. So thank you and hope you enjoy the new functionality.